Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Nathan's 3D Factory. I'm Nathan Adams, your host. In this episode, what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be doing lattices in Blender. Specifically, what we're going to be looking at is how they can deform a cartoony looking eyeball. This episode was requested by a friend of mine named Alessandro Carducci. He's a really cool YouTuber. He has animated stuff that he does, and he's learning Blender just like I am. And yes, I say I'm learning Blender because we're always learning it. So anyway, I'm going to have his information below in the description. So check it out when you can, and let's get started with our episode. So here we are in the, the default cube, and I'm working in Blender 2.82. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get rid of this cube, like I basically always do. I think there are very few instances where I don't get rid of the cube. I'm going to add a UV sphere, and then I'm going to rotate this about the x-axis, 90 degrees. There we go. And then I'm just going to do a simple eyeball right here. So if you notice in like some of the older cartoons, you have these eyeballs that are really stretched and they have this elongated look. Things like the old Looney Tunes like, uh, like Bugs Bunny and you know like uh, Sylvester and any of those characters, right? So this is a look that I really like and I'm going to be doing for Danny Duck as well. So in here, I'm going to make a very simple eyeball where we do all this right here. All right, we'll give him a pupil. Okay. And now I'm going a little bit the long way. Okay. I'm going to give this thing a couple materials. Okay. Let's call this one eyeball. And then we're going to do another one. Pupil. Now, in this one in the pupil, we'll make this one black. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to sign that and then just copy that into the viewport display. There we go. All right, now we have an eyeball. I also want to, you know, I also want to shade that smooth. There, isn't that a cool looking eyeball? Yay! All right, I'm also going to add a lattice. Now this lattice, I'm going to scale up just so that it encases the entire eyeball. So a little bit more. All right. Also, I want to apply the rotation on this eyeball. Okay, now right now, if I were to do some rotation on this, I could just do, you know, this doesn't look all weird or anything. So it's just kind of your regular rotation, all right? So I'm going to duplicate this example and show you what happens though, actually once I deform this, uh, when we do a lattice modifier, I'll show you what kind of cool things this does. So first thing what I want to do is that I want to add a modifier and it's going to be the lattice. Okay, there we go. And now, if I were to scale this up on the z-axis, just in object mode, you'll see that it's not going to be doing anything. But let's go into here now, scale z, and now, let's say like we do it two times, right? So now, we have this deformed eyeball. Now, let's say that we duplicate this, shift d, and we apply this GX2. Okay. 
Now we have a couple eyeballs, but if we were to do a rotation, actually, X, we'll do another. All right. If we were to rotate this just without a lattice modifier, then we get this kind of stuff. It is literally rotating the entire object. So that part's not a problem, but this part is. Now with this one, look at that. This is where the beauty of the lattice modifier comes into play. You can do all types of cool things with lattices. So now you can apply that onto a mesh, you know. So we can also have this parented. Okay. So that way, that way, we got that. So we can also do things where we go into the lattice and let's say that we don't want just our default six points right there, right? Let's say we want to do more where we can deform this and have a little bit more control on it. Maybe add a little bit of squash right here at the top and keep it down here as it is. So we do that, then what we do is we play around with these values. So then let's say like instead of two, two, and two, we do four, you know, just, like in that case, I don't want to do that exactly, uh, four there, um, yeah, I'll go with that, and four here, right? So we do that, gonna stretch it a little bit more, but now look at this also, what we can do. So we do that, where we have things at the top, S, X, S, Y, and then all of a sudden we get this taper that does this cool stuff. And then we still have that ability that we can do that deformed, stretched eyeball. So this gives you a lot more control on how you can visualize your characters using a 3D model. It gives you a little bit more of that 2D animated look that just, that people just love, you know? So, um, so that's some really cool stuff with the lattice modifier that you can do. Um, I really enjoy uh, having this kind of stuff. It's a really cool tool. Uh, lattices can be used for not just you know cartoon eyeballs. They can also be used to hide things. They can be used to smash things. Because if we look here, let's say, boom, we smash it. Oh yeah, pretty cool, huh? So anyway, so that is some basic stuff that I wanted to show you for how to do the lattice modifier. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I want to make this you know kind of a brief uh, tutorial. So I hope you leave comments below that this is something that taught you something. It sure taught me stuff. Um, I haven't used it a ton, but I really, really have loved the tool. So um, put a like in this if you really enjoyed this. And also make sure that you check out Alessandro Carducci. And thank you for the inspiration for this tutorial. Have a wonderful day, everyone.